Welcome to Movement Not Miracles. I'm Anna from Eat, Move, Be Happy. And Movement Not Miracles is your bite-sized version of um, looking after your posture, keeping your joints mobile, stretching through some of those muscles and hopefully warding off some of those aches and pains um, that we can get from sitting still for too long. Martha is absolutely on cue because she was fast asleep. I didn't have the heart to move her, but as soon as we start, then she comes for a cuddle. So um, we're going to do a bit of a, a mindful movement today. So an all over work through our shoulders, our upper back, um, mid and lower back, hips, backs of the legs. So a little bit, or it'll also work the ankles. So a little bit of everything, um, but also focusing on calming our mind. Um, because I don't know about you, but my mind's been a little busy. It seems to be um, getting a little busier at the moment it, from a, a head point of view. So um, just calming yourself is, um, is a good skill to get into. I'm just going to put Martha outside because I don't think she'll be that helpful. She can go and have, there we go, go and have some breakfast. She wasn't too impressed with that, but there you go. Right, so we're going to start off with child's pose, and I'm just about to get into shot here. So, um, sitting on your heels, toes together, knees apart, and we're going to bend forwards from the hips. So thinking of moving your chest forwards and bending through your groin and keeping your bottom onto your hips and folding all the way down. And as you go, pushing your hands into the floor so that you can work through your shoulders. So my back is a little stiff, so I can feel a nice stretch in my lower back. Oh, now Martha's trying to dig her way back in. And I'm thinking about squeezing my shoulder blades together. Pushing through my hands. And just focus on your breathing. So breathing normally, but just be aware of your breath. And then taking that up into a downward dog. So again, I'm just about going to be in shot. Hands underneath your shoulders. Make sure that you can feel all of your fingers on the floor so your weight is evenly distributed and tucking your toes under. And as you lift up through your hips, push back through your hands. You're aiming for your feet, your heels to be towards the floor, but my hamstrings are not that flexible. And that doesn't matter. And we think of keeping that contact with the floor with your hands and the balls of your feet, lifting up through your hips and squeezing your shoulder blades onto your back. And then I'm going to bring that back down, back into child's pose. With both of these poses, you're trying to keep your ears away from your ears, your shoulders away from your ears. So rather than hunching like this, think of shoulders back and down. So to do that, you have to squeeze your shoulder blades together. So if you think of that action now, so even if you just did a couple of shoulder rolls to get the feeling of it's there, that, that nice posture position. So you've got some nice space across your collarbones. Your shoulders are back and down, your shoulder blades are squeezing together. So your shoulders are not up here like this, all tense. Now when you lift your arms up, there is a danger, or a danger, there is a consequence that that happens and we're trying to keep our shoulders down. 
she's definitely trying to get back in now. She'll just have to wait. Okay, so, and that in itself might be quite a bit of work in your shoulders for you, and that's fine. So, toes together, knees apart, bottom sitting on the heels, and think of bringing your chest forward. So you're trying to elongate through your spine. So we're not just like folding down into it. I can fold down here and there's no stretch happening um, at all. So what we're aiming to do is keep your bottom attached to your heels as far as you can. My bottom lifts a little bit. And then think of stretching forwards, using your hands, and again, full contact with all of your fingers under the floor. And think of working through your hips to keep your bottom attached to your heels. So tilting your pelvis and working through your shoulder blades to keep those shoulders away from your ears. Pushing through your arms, your hands on the floor as straight if you can. So there should be some work through your shoulders and your shoulder blades, stretching through your armpits and work through your lower back and your hips. So we're not just existing, we're actually working in this pose. downward dog one more time. Tucking your feet under, contact with the floor with all of your fingers and the palm of your hand. Pushing up through the hips, shoulder blades, squeezing, arms straight. It might help actually if you just turn your hands out a little bit to feel those shoulder blades squeezing more if your shoulders are not that flexible like mine. Relax your head, relax your jaw. Okay, and floor. Right, a little bit of mobility work through the spine now. So you can do these if you are seated. You can do them stretching your arms out and then bringing your arms back into your shoulders so that you're getting a nice stretch through your upper back and then connecting back into your shoulders. So it's the same sort of action here. We just get a little bit more movement through all of our back. So a cat camel, you might have heard this one called. So we round our back sucking your belly button, letting your head drop to the floor, relaxing through your jaw, pushing into the floor through your hands and your knees, and then reversing that and think of letting your belly sag to the floor. But again, think of squeezing those shoulder blades together so your shoulders should be away from your ears. And then reaching back up. really arching through your back. See if you get some movement through all of your vertebrae. And then, hang on one moment. Thank you, I'm just recording a That was my cup of tea, call, but we'll carry on. Hopefully that's okay with you. Um, what have we just done? Cat camel. Okay, so now we're going to do some um, movement through our hips. So I'm going to do these from seated actually. I'm going to show you from the side. 
So, first of all, we tend to sit so that we're sitting on the fleshy part of our bum and actually what we want to be able to do is sit up on the bones of our bottom. So think of bringing your bottom back in towards your hands and sitting up nice and tall out of your pelvis. Now we're trying to keep that nice straight back all the way through and we're just going to lift one knee up towards our chest. So think of rather than rounding down, we want our chest to come forwards, back straight, again, shoulders away from the ears, and really hug that knee in to your chest, sitting nice and tall. So you're gonna get some more movement through your hip. And you're also working through your core and your upper back, well, your whole back actually, to keep you sitting up nice and tall and you should be working through your shoulder blades to the muscles in your upper back to keep your shoulder blades in position. It's really easy for our posture in our, particularly our upper back, to be really rounded and that encourages our muscles to work in a, not to keep our posture in a good, in a good shape, our, our good posture. So it's not that they get lazy, but they just don't work to support your, your frame, your bones, in the right way. So when we do ask them to work to support our posture, that's when it can feel a bit like hard work and you can feel your muscles working. But actually, that's what we want. You want your muscles in, the, in your upper back nice and strong and supporting that posture rather than this, which is really not good for us in the long term. Okay, so carrying on with the hips, turn to face you. If you just cross your legs and um, again, sitting on the bones of your bottom and just think of rounding down over. Imagine you've got a ball in front of it, resting in your lap. So we're gonna round down over that ball, over that net ball. So again, a bit of a stretch through the back, but you should feel this in your hips, in the outside of your hips. And just breathe. And see if you can round down a bit more. And then swap feet, swap the cross. Sitting cross-legged in itself is good for our hips. It encourages your hips to move through a fuller range of movement than we do when we're just sitting in a chair. And um, it's easy for our hips just to get so stiff because we just move them through um, a forward and, and backward flexion and extension plane but actually they're a bone socket joint and they move through they have much more movement than we give them credit for I think rounding down over that ball ah now then I was really hunched through my shoulders then so my shoulders are up by my ears so let's try and relax through our shoulders this is what can happen we will go back to old habits so relaxing here, there's no tension in these muscles in my neck. Here, there is. So relaxing down. If your hips are a little bit more flexible, then you can increase the stretch with this. And as you can see, mine are not. But if you put the soles of your feet together and bring your heels in towards your bottom, again sitting tall and just letting your legs relax down towards the floor. So you're going to get a bigger stretch on the inside of your thighs. So it's worth trying this actually, even if you're not that flexible. So sitting 
but I'm working not to round down through my back. So I'm working to sit nice and tall now and just, if you push your feet together and just let those knees. I'm using my elbows a little bit to encourage them to go towards the floor and I'm trying to relax through my groin and my inner thighs. You can sit yourself up on yoga blocks and get a bit more of the next so your hips are level with your knees and get a bit more extension with this if you have some yoga blocks okay so hopefully you um i feel a little bit calmer a little bit more relaxed my body feels a little bit more stretched and awake and ready for the day so um, enjoy the rest of your day and um, Movement Lab Wrinkles will be back next week. Don't forget to check out the website www.eatmovebehappy.com. Um, we offer online wellbeing coaching, whether that's to do with eating and exercise habits and improving your choices to healthier ones more of the time, or whether it's about your mental health and looking after yourself, looking after your whole self, um, there are online courses available. So please do check out the website. And even if it's not for you, if you know somebody that um, they may benefit, then please pass on the details. Um, www.eatmovebehappy.com. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you next week.